So um, I asked you if you wanted to learn how to model a face with sugar paste. So today I'm going to teach you how to model one face. Um, so the first thing uh, I did, I made a ball with the skin color sugar paste. Um, I add a little bit of CMC so it will harden and I will work better. Right now, uh, after I mix it with the CMC, I let it dry for a little bit. So the first thing we need to do is to get rid of this round shape. We're going to start by giving it uh, more like an oval shape to the face. This is going to keep moving, okay? So you always got to be adjusting the modeling of the face. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this part round, which is the top of the head, and then I'm going to bring inside, I'm going to push like this inside, so I will make a more uh, oval shape. There you I'm going to be showing you first what step. are the tools that I usually use for this. Um, I usually go between this tool, okay, that you're going to see uh, modeling tools. This comes from the set of modeling tools that you can buy in all your um, cake design stores or maybe online. So I use this tool, the one that looks like a little spoon. I usually do this one and this comes very handy all the time. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, I use this one uh, just to spread the paste and also sometimes I use the round one to just to push uh, the, the sockets of the eyes but uh, not always, okay, just sometimes. These are some of the tools that we're going to use and also I have these rubber brushes uh, they all also come in sets. I uh, This is a set of three, but I usually use this two. This one, okay, that is flat, and that one that is like a pencil. So basically, these are the tools that I'm going to use, and our hands. We're going to use our hands a lot. And so if you have this in hand, and you or you can manage to get it, great. If you don't have everything, for example, if you don't have these ones, we can work with this. Don't worry. Um, and if you don't have all the tools, if you have at least this one and maybe a round one, we're good to go. First thing, we need to mark where the eyes are going to go. So using this tool that is like a spoon, I'm just going to push in both sides where the eyes go. Okay, I usually calculate if you trace, if you imagine a line in the middle, the eyes are not totally like in the middle. If you think this is half and this is half, the eyes are above it. Okay, because in this space, we're going to do the nose and the mouth. So this is more or less. Once you have your proportion. eyes marked, um, you need to, we need to lower the size to create the nose. You can use either this one, okay, just lower. Here. If you have this tool, it will work very well just to create the cavities here and to pull the sugar paste here in the middle to create the part of the nose. If you don't have, if you have the round one, you can even pull down this part and if you don't have any use your thumbs okay just pull it down sometimes I prefer to use my thumbs okay very good okay first part we have the eye sockets and we have the structure where the nose is going to be oh and uh, what I'm going to do now is I think the nose is going to be up to here okay so I'm just going to I'm trying not to pull this down, just to separate this part here, okay, to create the nose. And in this round part that we have here, we're going to create the mouth. Now to create the mouth, I'm going to, uh, you can use this tool, okay, to mark the mouth like this, okay, for example here if it's a little smile or you can use it like this to create the lip shape you see or 
what I like to use if you have this, which is great. Let me just show you here better. Using this in the middle. First, I'm going to trace a line. Okay, and then in the middle, I'm going to go half the lip to one side and half the lip to the other one. Okay, as you can see, I already have some sort of lip here. This upper lip and the base of the nose and maybe a little bit a shadow of my lower lip. Now I'm going to focus on the nose. This nose is too wide in here, so I'm just going to press here in order to make it more um, a better shape in this in this part because the nose is wider here and smaller here and then for the profile I'm just going you can use the back of one of your pencils or you can use this tool if you don't have this tool you can still use this one just press here and keep shaping it in order to create and smooth it in order to create a little bit of profile you see see okay keep pushing and pulling okay this tool is amazing you can use it a lot okay excellent so we have more or less the shape yeah, to of keep the defining hand. the nose again i love this tool because this doesn't mark the the sugar paste um too much so it it really models without leaving a big mark but if you don't have it you can use this tip okay i'm going to do one nostril with this so just push up while you're while you're poking the nose just push up a little bit or if you have this one do the same push up a little bit okay so you have the nostrils and now we're going to round the nose here i don't like this big line so i usually just move it with my finger or maybe with the back of don't press too much just a little bit okay just to smooth it or with your finger okay let me show you now with this one in the other side you can just mark your nose here and then smooth it around like this with this okay if you're happy with your nose like this just leave it i usually tend to overwork everything and they ruin it so I have to keep telling myself to stop, but I think we're good. I think we have a good nose right now. Maybe it needs to be, I mean, I'm gonna round it here a little bit more. If I press it here. Okay, so now let's move on up. to the mouth. Um, we already have some sort of idea where the mouth is going to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is to mark where the mouth is gonna start and end. It's gonna be around this side imagine that we're taking a line from the nostril down okay this is the space for the mouth okay so i'm just going to make a very uh, peaceful and rested mouth okay with a little bit of a green in it i'm doing sort of like a heart shape here Okay, and now you can use the back of uh, the pencil or you can use this tool or you can even use the small ball tool. Just press where the end of the mouth is. Okay, and now create the lip. You can do it with this one, as you can see, or you can do it with, I'm sorry, with this one I like to use this one a lot okay so now I'm making the creating part of the mouth with this tool 
the base now, the lower lip. Or you can also use this one, as I was saying, just to create the lower lip. Okay, and smooth it. So in this part, as you can see, we're starting to create here the chin. Okay, uh, depending, if you want a smile, just bring this part up. If you want a more um, plain mouth, just don't do anything. If you want a sad mouth, let me just take this tool. If you want a sad mouth, a sad expression, just bring it down. Okay, you just have to bring it down. But I don't want my face to be sad. I'm going to make it peaceful, grim, sort of. Uh, smile okay. now I'm just going to make or mark the sides of the lower lips but of the lower lip better just as I'm not marking very much in here because what I want is then put this or again put this or even with the round tool, create the cavity here for the chin, okay? There we go. Okay, so the lower lip and the beginning of the chin is done. Now we're going to move to the, the upper lip and the mark here in the middle of the nose and then we're going to now for the upper lip the what I'm going to do also you can use this one or you can use this one if you're using this one just with the back of the tool bring the lip up in the middle and then go down up in the middle and go down it's just to create this arch here in here is after I bring this up and down I'm just passing the tool in the sides to create this upper part of the mouth okay and I'm just going to smooth it now and with this part I'm going to create the mark here in the middle of the lip if your lip is too thick I think this upper lip is too thick I'm just going to smooth it here by pulling down a little bit And I'm going to bring the smile up a little bit and the lower lip, I'm going to make it thinner, just a little bit thinner. Okay, and I'm going to mark this in the middle again. And here we go. We have and each face uh, gives me the expression. I don't know, it's like they're talking to me. Unless I have to really model something specifically, I think the sugar paste talks to us and tells us where you want to go that's that's me that's me but um i think i'm going to open her smile a little bit more just by in this case you can use this tool just to open the mouth a little bit and define now i'm going to move on more. to the chin because she barely has a chin First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the sides here, okay? So the line is, this line goes from the nostril to the, to the end of the mouth and then down. This line goes like this and then down. If you're modeling like older people, all these markings will have to be harder in order to create the, the wrinkles, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna push from the back to the front just to give, to make the chin come out. Okay, there you go. Just make the chin come out a little bit. I'm just pressing on the mat, so the chin will come out. Now she has some, some baggy cheeks here. So I'm just going to bring them up. I'm gonna soften this because I don't want the, this 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 um, 
this line to be too hard because she, if, if you make for example if I make this line so hard she would look like Maleficent I don't want her to look like that so I'm just going to soften this just bring this back up and round okay now uh, to do the eyes this is what I'm going to do we're not going to do the full eye today because I want to show you a technique later on uh, but I'm going to make just the sockets for the eyes and then uh, after that you can finish giving definition to your face I haven't given much definition up here because when we open the, the sockets for the eyes uh, the sugar paste is going to move around so you'll probably have to adjust some things so using this tool again as you can see I use it a lot uh, with the spoon shape up I'm going to start opening the cavity for the eyes okay I'm moving this around okay then I move it to the other side and bring it down there you go okay now using you can use this one as well create the arch for your eyelid and your eyebrow and I'm going to bring this up and down a little bit okay for the forehead okay so I have the arch here and the arch here I have issues trying to keep it even on both sides but I try because my mirroring is not too good. I need to practice more on that one. Even in makeup or when I'm doing my eyebrows, I'm not good at it. Okay, so I have my eye sockets done, cavities for the eyes. What I'm going to do because this face is too, uh, is too oval here and too narrow here, I'm just going to press this on the side of the eyes and smooth it so I have my cheekbones here not mine the dolls cheekbones it would be so cool to model our faces like that to look what we want to look right just bring this back bring this back and that way I will give a better shape more feminine shape into my doll after making the eye but i'm going to do it now because otherwise it will dry when you make the eyes or after you make the eyes uh, i like to make a little uh, like the lower um part of the eye i don't know what you say this lower part here just to find this here okay eyelid lower eyelid would be that way I'm giving this definition here that will give me like a small cavity here the, the bone the, the cheek in here and more definition to the cheekbone in this side okay the upper uh, eyelid I usually do it with another piece of sugar paste I'm defining this again here you, go. you have this definition here you have the cheek here the cheekbone and now if you want you can define more this side of your cheeks here in order to always smooth it otherwise it would look bony unless you want to do a bony face right just to find this more here and we have our face 